What's shaking guys, Magic Activator here, back at it again for some more IBL and Memphis Drizzlies action. This week, we are up against the Birmingham Aerons, coached by uh, a new coach for Season 3, which is Lazy Ghost. A uh, real cool guy, uh, from what I've had a chance to interact with him. And so, this has actually been one of the uh, battles I've been most looking forward to, since it is a, uh, a new face to the league. But let me go ahead and grab my team, show you guys what we're bringing. Uh, probably no team builder this week because I haven't had a chance to record one. Uh, in fact, we're doing this battle much later than we initially planned because uh, I've been busier than I expected to be. But uh, that's all on me. But let's go ahead and take a look at our team. We're bringing Milotic, Crobat, uh, Mien Shao, Piloswine, Mega Gardevoir, and Clef Key. Maybe not the best. <laughs> I, I, I feel not super confident in my preparation, but I am running some some cheeky things. At least a little bit. Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll just have to see what happens. Um, boy oh boy. So now we're gonna see what he is bringing. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. All right. So we are seeing no megalopony. Great. Uh, we do see Lycan Rock, but no Hippowdon. Sweet. Uh, Lolan Executor, Zapdos, Comfey, Ditto, Caesar, no Chandelure. I'm actually pretty happy about that. No Slowking. No Amoongus. Oh, that's that's his team. Okay. I'm kind of I'm kind of down with this. I'm kind of down with this. I think I'm gonna lead. The ditto might be a bit annoying, but I have some tricks up my sleeve to deal with that under the circumstances. Um, geez. I honestly think I might lead... I could go safe, I could go safe lead and just lead with uh, Crobat. I think I'm gonna lead my Milotic actually. Which might sound crazy, but I think it has the best matchup against most of his leads potential leads I don't know what he's gonna lead with but we'll see Zapdos potentially which is a little could be a little concerning but I don't believe Zapdos can even do too much <laughs> brought the executor just for me I was so behind him picking a little an executor all right, so he is leading with the Lycan Rock, which I am down with. Uh, so this leads me to think uh, we may see some Stealth Rock coming in here. Uh, let me move my damage calc over to the other screen, if I may. So I don't know exactly what this thing wants to do to me, but I know exactly what I think I want to do to it. Um... I can pull up my set here. Yeah, I don't think he can really do too much to me. I think I just fire off a Scald, and whatever comes in, comes in, you know? I'm not against it. I'm just going to click Scald. He sets his Stealth Rock. That's fine by me. I'm not super worried about Stealth Rock in this match. If I get a burn right out of the gate, that'd be fantastic. He's Focus Sash on, and we get the burn, which means that that thing is going down immediately. Yo, Bellarive coming through. Memphis Drizzlies, where's where where where's my Lotic? Where's my Lotic? Oh, it's sitting on my bed. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> sitting on the futon. All right, so that was a good, a good turn for us, honestly. Now this thing makes me a little bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie. So, where is my thing? Lichen Rock. Uh, dies to my lot dick. All right. Um. So that thing is out of the way. I'm I'm glad about that. Now this thing. I'm I'm guessing he might be a speedy set. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know too much about Executor. Is he Trick Room though? That is the question.
A Giga Drain can do 83 to 99.5% to me, whereas the Ice Beam is doing 89 to 105 to him. Oh, that's so tempting. What do I have that's a switch in here? Really just Crobat, I feel like. Really just Crobat. I mean, depending on his set, if he's physical. I really just want to click Ice Beam. I'm going to do it. I'm going to click Ice Beam. I am faster than it. So we'll see how much that does. Not quite taking him out, and he sets up Trick Room. Okay. That explains why no law bunny. But this thing is now incredibly low. Which is good. Now, I don't know. The question is, is he going to be physical or... Ugh. This is what I'm. This is what I'm not sure of. If he's physical, he goes for a wood hammer here. I'm just I'm thinking through my options. If he's physical, he goes for a wood hammer here. If not, I mean, I don't, I don't think he has anything that he can do to me right now. I kind of think, is he in range for a Scald to kill? Based on that Ice Beam damage, I want to say yes. This may be a terrible mistake. I'm going to go for a Scald on the switch. I think Scald takes it out from that range. That definitely looks like six. Like less than six. Oh boy, he's going to do a lot of damage to us right now. Energy Ball. I think we eat that. Milotic, let's go! So that's wonderful. We're going to get Milotic uh, taken out. Uh, Lycan Rock and uh, Executor. Alright, so this is a solid position for us to be in right now. I don't know what uh, he's going to want to do. What does he bring in at this point? Executor is gone. Ditto, perhaps? I mean, Zabdo seems like the most logical switch in here. He could bring Caesar in. I feel like he's definitely going to try and set up with Caesar though. But now that I've got rid of potentially his only Trick Room Setter, this could be an advantage for us. Yo, know, Milotic coming through for us. Milotic's been on the bench for the past couple weeks, but she came back raring to go. Bella Reeve. Alright, so Mr. Pinchy. Mr. Pinchy. Now the question I have at this point is, oh no, that was really laggy. I was really afraid we were about to disconnect. That made me really nervous. Um, okay, um, well, let's see. I mean, I think you definitely can take me out at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you should definitely have moves that can take me out at this point. The question is, what what is my switch in? And how much do I need Milotic at this point? That's the other question that I have in mind. Seeing that he does not have 
Um. Seeing that he doesn't have Chandelure, uh, means that I can fire off, uh, Hidden Power Fire freely from... I almost feel like I need to Scald here. If he takes me out, he takes me out. But I really don't think I need Milotic for anything else besides trying to get a burn on this thing. He's gonna Bullet Punch. We're gonna eat a Bullet Punch. I'm pretty sure. Yes, we are. If this Scald burns... That's beautiful. That's beautiful for us. Oh my goodness. Scald burns are coming through for us right now. Scald burns are the only, like, decent RNG I ever get, and it's like... It happens, you know, one out of three times, so... Uh, I kind of needed that burn, though. Let's see. This is, this is a rough situation for him at this point, though. But, now he does still have aromatherapy on, uh, he does, still does have the Comfey for healing. I'm gonna recover this turn. He withdraws. And he goes into Chidori. Okay. So into Zapdos. Trick Room should be due up to end fairly soon. Okay. Yo, are we about to break it out right now? I mean, this is our only... This is literally the only reason I brought this move. Am I going to break it out right now? Let's see what Zapdos is looking like. Damage-wise to us right now. I mean, I think he has to go for a discharge, right? At this point. It might be modest. Let's see. Discharge does 59 to 71%. I think we're in the clear. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to click Mirror Coat. He set up Light Screen. Oh, I revealed my hand too early. I played... I've been so bad about revealing my hand when it comes to that. He does set up the uh, light screen though, which is annoying. I mean, I presume I'm definitely faster than it. I mean, he can discharge now. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click Scald. He's gonna set Reflect. Okay. That's all fine. Wow! All three of them. Okay. Now I'm starting to feel a little bad about that. Wow. That's crazy. Whoa. That's crazy. Dude, I am so sorry. That third one is just... Wow. Okay. I don't know that you stay in. I'm. I'll ice beam. He's gonna U turn. Okay. So this is a supportive set on Zapdos. Battle is definitely not over. We do have quite an advantage here, which allows us a little bit of safe of a safety net. Um. He's gonna go into this, which makes sense. Because he's going to use this as an opportunity to most likely go for a... Uh, aromatherapy. 
light screen reflect U-turn. So is this last move gonna be Roost? We saw a bullet punch here. Man, okay. So what are our options here? I can switch in. Houdini kinda doesn't serve much other purpose at this point. Where that I can kind of bring it in right now. I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring Houdini in right now. Sets up Calm Mine. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit annoying. Especially behind these Reflex. Especially behind these Reflex. Let's see, I don't wanna... Okay, what I can do is I can just try to keep firing off on this thing, burn out the reflect turns, and then f when, it, when it looks like it can kill, go for a fairy lock and switch into Crobat. That might be my course of action here. Cause this is gonna be uh, problematic. I didn't expect light screen reflect. That's problematic for me. All right, I'm gonna go for a flash cannon. He goes hidden power. Okay, this is actually this is actually good. That does a decent amount. We get the spadef drop, so he's back at neutral. So he's looking like an, it's looking like another HP fire takes us out. Which Klefki's kind of done its job at this point. I feel like I could go for a thunder wave, but that's not really achieving anything. Um How much am I doing? What turn of reflect are we on? Does it say? I should have been keeping up with this. Oh no. Reflect turn number one. Light screen turn number three. Ugh. See, that's annoying. I kind of want to. I'm going to fairy lock this turn. If he takes me out, we lock it in. I lived. Dang, I should have went for the flash cannon. I should have went flash cannon. Oh, I thought for sure that was gonna KO. Did he high roll the first time? Cause I don't think, I mean, Stealth Rock shouldn't have done that much to us. I'm gonna pre I'm gonna preserve Houdini at this point. Wait, I can't be switched out because I used Fairy Lock. 
Is that what it is? Dang. I knew that was a... I should have just went Flash Cannon. If I had just went Flash Cannon, we'd been in a much better position right there. Alright, so we've seen Draining Kiss. That was a poorly played uh, Clef Key. Draining Kiss... Calm mind. Hidden power. Presumably ground or fire. I think I have to go into Crobat. Mian Chao literally doesn't do anything against this this thing. I think I have to go into Crobat. Got to fire cross poison. He's probably going to go Ditto here actually. No, he goes into the Zapdos. Alright, he statics me, which I really don't care about too much. Seeing his team. Light screen has worn off. Now, the thing is, he's going to outspeed me here. He's probably going to Volt Switch. Probably gonna volt switch or set up. Would you set up light screen? Uh, he was static. That's good to know, though. Um, yeah, this battle's far from over. But we may potentially see his last move here. Um, I kind of don't mind switching to Artemis here, especially since he hasn't, um, revealed since he's burned with Caesar. Sets light screen back up, which is annoying. But we do have Infiltrator, so we do ignore his screens. I do need to remember that. Alright, here I want to Mega Evolve. And I just want to fire off a Hyper Voice, I think. He stays in. Still not enough. He goes for Thunderbolt. Alright, we can take a Thunderbolt. Does the burn take him out? The burn doesn't take him out. Does he try to preserve this thing at this point? I don't think he does.
What are... <laughs> uh, let's see, a Zapdos, a bulky Zapdos. Um, let's put up some light screen. Against, uh, Gardevoir. HP Fire does 12 to 14. It should take him out. That's with light screen and reflect up. If he's 252 defense, special defense. I'm going for it in case he tries to preserve. All right, Gardevoir takes out Zapdos. Pillowswan's a lot less useful in this match now. <laughs> That ditto is still a issue. That ditto is still a real issue. And now that Clef Key is gone, it's going to be a lot harder to play around. But. You're about to lock yourself into whatever move you go for, which is going to be Shadow Ball or Hyper Voice. So at this point, what is my win condition at this point? Let me, uh, let me calc a Gardevoir against itself. I mean, you click Hyper Voice. My own Pokemon is going to be my demise. I can see that right now. Yeah, this battle's so far from over. Ugh! I think I just, I think I, I think I have to drop. I think I have, just have to let it drop. He goes Shadow Ball. Okay. He goes Shadow Ball. Gardevoir goes down to... Alright, so let's see. Four... I gotta see what my best option is at this point. I don't have a good, I don't have a switch in for this. That's the problem. I knew that this thing was gonna be a problem. That's why I, sh I shouldn't have let Houdini go down. I should have preserved. Um. You're gonna do so much to pillow swine. Well, with Shadow Ball, you only do 28. I 
I think Bell Reef is going to be my win condition. Which, speaking of... How much are you taking from a Shadow Ball? Not terribly much. You know, I'll go Melodic here. I know he's got to be Scarfed. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I think I'm just going to go ahead and Scald. I think, uh, yeah, because at this point, Comfe is not quite, probably about 75%-ish. He withdraws. Back into Mr. Pinchy. Mr. Pinchy doesn't appreciate a Skull. This will tell me if a oh, light screen's still up. Yeah, definitely is. All right. But we're still whittling him down. And I don't think long game he can really beat me in this situation. He's going to knock off my leftovers. Which means I can't stall him quite as much. Is that going to be enough for the burn? I don't think it is. No, he's going to just be able to live that. I just have to keep scalding at this point. All right, he withdraws into the Comfe. And I think I What? Hold up. I, I need to. I need to uh, see here. Um, do you get a grass type move? This is what I need to know. Do you get a? Do you get a grass type move? I'm sure you do. Oh yeah, you get all the grass type moves. I think I have to go into Reckless. What I really need, setting up Stealth Rocks even though it's late game, would be super helpful right now. All right, Draining Kiss. Does a little bit. Actually did more than I expected it to. I go for the cross poison right now. He switches into. Although at this point, Comfe. Let's see. I really don't know enough about Comfe to know <laughs> how big of an issue this thing is going to be. Um, against Crobat. I mean, Brave Bird. Infiltrator. Just depending on what this thing is. I think I have to Brave Bird though, because if I don't, and he switches into Caesar, he goes into my, he goes into Ditto. All right. I 
I got fully paralyzed. Ah, uh, great. That's fantastic. All right. So this changes everything yet again. He outspeeds. So he can definitely take me out. <sighs> well, depending. If he's not adamant. He still can take me out. Well, the thing is, I know he's got to... I know what his moves are going to be. I'd almost be willing to sack Ty Lee here. You know what, I'm gonna click, I'm clicking Brave Bird. He U-turns. Okay, what is he going into? P probably Sack and Caesar, maybe? Man, this is, for us to have gotten a huge lead at the beginning, that's why you can't assume that you have a win just because you got a great lead early. All right. So this thing goes down. Which is huge. Alright, he's gonna copy Crobat again. So now that we know that Caesar is gone, how are we winning this? <laughs> That is the question. I kind of want to switch to Waddles here. How crazy is that? To, uh, how much are you doing to Waddles? Brave Bird does 30 to 36%. Do I need Crobat for anything else? He certainly would be helpful against... I'm gonna go into Waddles. He uses Brave Bird. Okay, it does a lot of damage. But I know that I do live. The question is now, do I set up Stealth Rock? Click Icicle Crash. I sure are not doing a ton. That did so much. I guess after Stealth Rock though.
This may be a stupid mistake. He withdraws. Okay, I'm setting Stealth Rocks. I set the Stealth Rocks. And I believe I try and preserve Pillow Swine at this point. I think that's definitely what needs to happen. If this thing has defog and I don't know it, does this thing get defog? <laughs> Oh boy, does this thing get defog. He does get defog. Yikes. Does he get Giga Drain? He does get Giga Drain as well. Dang, okay. I can't risk it, I have to switch back at, into Crobat. I think I have to. Man! Sets up Calm Mine. Question is, at plus one, does he take us out with a Drain Kiss? Maybe. He could very well do it. If I somehow manage to live this, I think I have to go Brave Bird. I think I definitely have to go Brave Bird. I think I definitely have to go Brave Bird. He goes Hidden Power. It's not enough, okay. Brave Bird, how much are you doing? I need you to do a lot. I need you to do a lot, honestly. That's enough. That'll work. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, okay, okay. That I can deal with. That I can deal with. I should be faster than this thing in all regards. I'm gonna go into Mian Shao now. All right, me and Shao. We click fake out. All right. All right. Man, this is gonna come down to the wire. This is definitely gonna turn come down to the wire. All right, you're gonna take some. S okay, and the good thing now is. Even though he is, he just became Mian Shao, he can't switch out and you take advantage of Regenerator, which I think works uh, when you use Imposter. I'm pretty sure it does. All right. Now, I don't want to stay in and take this hit, I don't think. Well, let's see. How much, how much does Mian Shao do to itself <laughs> right now? He's definitely faster than me. Drain Punch is doing a lot. My Lotic is doing much less. My Lotic is doing much less. If he drain punches his way to, to the win. Dang. That's too much, dude. That's too much. He outspeeds me. 
I goofed it. I should have stayed in. I shouldn't have switched in and took a drain punch. That might have just cost me everything, honestly. I think that did just cost me everything. I kind of wasn't taking into account the leftovers being gone for one and also stealth rock. That was a stupid mistake. It was an absolutely stupid mistake. Oh boy. I have to go into Ty Lee. I honest, I think honestly what I have to do is I have to go. I have to fake it out this turn. For sure. Get as much damage as I can. Okay, that did a decent amount. <sighs> and honestly, at this point, I have to go Drain Punch. And just hope that we can live one from ourselves. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta think about this for a second. Pilswine Ice Shard's only doing 16 to 19. If I switch it in, how much HP is it at right now? It'll be lower on HP. Oh my goodness. This is the mirror match of the century. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm. I think I literally have to sack Waddles right now. I think I literally have to sack Waddles right now and hope oh dude I don't think that's gonna be enough I don't think it's gonna be enough I was hoping he wasn't going to get quite as much health back. Oh no. Oh no. He's got it. He's got me, dude. I goofed so hard by sending in my Lodic. That was... That was it. If I hadn't sent in my Lodic on that fake out. Ah. Oh. Or not on that fake out, on the... <laughs> I choked. I choked this so bad. Well... <laughs> We've sealed our fate. <laughs> Man, dude. Man, I knew Ditto was gonna be a problem. Dude, I goofed so hard by sending in my Lodic. <sighs> I would have probably been better off to have switched in Piloswine and uh, Then just worked it out between Milotic and Mianxia. I think I could have on that. Man, that was intense. That was a super good game, dude. I was... Oh, man. I definitely feel like I goofed that. That was a big misplay on my part, and he capitalized on it, honestly. 
I knew Ditto was going to be such a problem. I did. But anyway, GG to Lazy. Be sure to go check his channel out, see his side of the battle and all of that. Uh, and drop him a subscription, all that good stuff. But for now, guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Give it to your uh, magic touch because your support is greatly appreciated. But for now, I'm going to make it like an abra and get out of here. So have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay cool, and we'll catch you guys later.